Have you ever wondered if art is actually a gift from God? Well, I'm going to answer that question for you today here on 5-Minute Mentoring. Well, hey, my friend, so glad that you are with me here today on 5-Minute Mentoring. You know, many years ago, uh, when I was first starting to let people know that I was an artist professionally, and I was still doing a lot in ministry, working at a local church, I had a guy that was actually one of the elders at our church come up to me, and he was like, man, this is you know kind of great that you're an artist and that sort of thing, but what in the world does this have to do with being a Christian and the kingdom of God? He just had no context for <laughs> how being an artist could uh, be valuable at all to God. And it kind of begs that question that I get asked a lot. You know, hey, is art just something kind of ancillary to the kingdom? Does it really matter or is it actually a gift from God? And, you know, I think we have to go to the book of James, James 1.17, where it says really clearly every good and perfect gift uh, is from above. It comes from the Father, coming down from the Father of heavenly lights who does not change like shifting shadows. So every good gift that we enjoy in our life is from the Father. And creativity and art and our ability to express ourselves is absolutely no different. And if you remember, the first way that God reveals himself to humanity is not as judge, is not even as father. It's as artist, as creator. It's in the very beginning of Genesis. It says, in the beginning, God created and so I've learned that, you know, when you take the rule of first mention, which is kind of a theological basis that most people follow as we're reading scripture, you realize the first way that things are established and presented in God's word set the stage for the way that it is interpreted throughout God's word. Imagine how you would look at the gospel narrative. Imagine how you would view God, the Christian life, the kingdom of God, if you viewed it in terms of of God, the artist, first. And so I think, again, understanding that every good and perfect gift comes from above, understanding that the first way that God revealed himself to humanity is as an artist. And then when he created humanity through Adam and Eve, he said that we were created in his image. That is, we're going to do life the way he designed it, after him. We're going to reflect and reveal his nature and so the gift of art is really at the core, I believe, of all humans. Not that all humans are artists, per se, in the fine art perspective necessarily, but that we all have a capacity for beauty. We all have a capacity to see and agree with heaven as prophetic people and release and reflect uh, the nature of God in and through what we do. The interesting thing that I think is really, really something people really struggle with is, well, Matt, you know, how is it that, you know, Christians are creative and also non-Christians are creative? Like, what is that about? And I'm like, well, listen, God's gifts, the Bible said, uh, are without repentance. God, the gifts and callings of God are, are without repentance. What does that mean? That means God has a, a design and an intention for every person's life. I believe we all come with a measure of creativity uh, and the creative expression of God in and through our life. The question is not whether we have it. The question is, how, what are we doing with it? I mean, think about Adam and Eve, for example. God invited Adam into the creative process to name the animals with him. And yet when Adam chose to sin and that brought a curse and ultimately separation from God, God didn't remove Adam's ability to be creative that gift just got pointed in the wrong direction. And so I think it's really, really important for you, for all of us to be asking of ourselves, number one, do we believe that art is a gift from God, that it's a divine investment? And number two, are we pointing that in the direction of him? Again, not necessarily that we're making overtly Christian work all the time, or we're doing things with, with doves and crosses on them and writing scripture on all our work. No, but that we're, we're using our life and we're bringing our life and the work of our hands as an offering to the Lord saying, Lord, this thing that you've given me, these paintings I create, these books that I write, these songs that I sing, these baskets that I make, Lord, would you use them for your glory in a supernatural way to reveal your light and life and to bring people to you and allow it also to be a vehicle for me to live the abundant life that you've, uh, that you've designed for me. Listen, when you understand that context, 
you absolutely know that art is a divine gift from God and a divine investment in every person, uh, not only for us to be used by God, but for also for us to enjoy his presence as we create with him. Listen, friend, I know if you're like me and you want to know more about prophetic art, you're always probably looking for great resources. We have combined, I believe, what is the definitive guide on prophetic art on my website is absolutely free. You can go there right now using the link that's here in this episode. Check out this incredibly detailed resources with stories, with examples, with the biblical foundation for uh, not only imagination and, and creating, but also the demonstration of God through the arts and through the creative expression of his people. You'll find it all absolutely free right there on the link of this here in this episode. Go there, find it and uh, share it on social media if it's a blessing to you. Let me know if you're uh, if you're reading that, if you're finding it helpful and uh, screenshot it, share a quote on Instagram, on Facebook, tag me. I'd love to continue the conversation with you uh, on whatever social media platform you're using. All right. I love you, my friend. Thanks for being with me. And uh, as always, remember, you were created to thrive. All right, bye.